Hello there once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers. This time around, we're checking out a level known as Deathwell slash Brian McNamara, because this is one of those levels whereby they included the name of the person who made the level in the um, actual level itself. Anyway, he has um, the thing saying that he made this level on November 2nd of 1996. And, yeah, basically, this is a simple deathmatch level. Um, the last few levels that we've essentially been seeing weren't really that um, fancy. We're saying it was exactly the opposite. The last few levels we've seen were relatively fancy, relatively um, big and different. But, of course, there has to be a period which gets a little bit slower, a little bit period that we kind of go back to what we were doing with slow, pointless deathmatch levels. So, welcome back to the Daily Grind. Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers. This time around, we're checking out a level that has three levels of pure action. Medium light. What in God's name is medium light? Sky. It has a sky, everybody. That, that's a feature. That, that's a thing promoted in this level. Having a sky. It has all weapons. Water. And one room. Yeah. It resembles the house of Chathon. So, yeah. Basically, it's going to be very much like that one room deathmatch level. Yeah, that also explains the small size. It's relatively small in comparison to everything else. Anyway, it was compiled by Twin B Zulo. Whoever in God's name that is. And the interesting thing probably about this one is the editor used is undisclosed for whatever reason. Now, the thing about that is that if you look at the actual file itself, you can actually see it was made using Thread. It has um, a WAD file saying C, Thread, Maps, my wad, dot wad. So yeah, he didn't really hide it well. But then you have the bigger question. Why in God's name did you leave the editor used undisclosed and not credit the person that you use to make the level with that feels kind of I, I i don't know that feels rather wrong why would you do that <laughs> um maybe it's just me but it feels like a really weird choice to make to not credit the person that made the editor you used and to also use said editor to, to, and then not mention the editor you use like it's the big thing that you have to leave a mystery I, I can't imagine most people even care about the editor you used. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't normally even care about this if it wasn't for the fact that it's like a big historical thing and all that. Um, but yeah, it's rather weird that he would leave that undisclosed. But as said, that's something normally most people would totally ignore. In fact, most people would ignore this map's existence, so that's a thing as well. But as said, this na map's name is Death Well, so I'm assuming it involves some well and it involves some death. I would hope so. Otherwise, the name is lying to me. Um, so anyway, let's see here. QBSB time, light time, vis time. It takes a long time to do everything, especially vis. It took one and a half hours to apparently vis because it took that long to do stuff in 1996 to make a really tiny level. So anyway, you may not use this as a base to build additional levels or do anything else with it, blah, blah, blah. I'm holding the copyright severely to this level that is absolutely going to be horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a really pointless, terrible deathmatch level, and you can't really do anything with it. And you really don't have any documentation on it, because that's a thing, right? Yeah, okay, why did I just switch to deathmatch mode? We don't need deathmatch mode. Let's switch deathmatch mode off. I prefer deathmatch mode off for these um, videos just because I can collect things and know what I've collected why I haven't. But yeah, there you are. Death well by Brian McNamara. So let's see here. We have a lot of platforms and a lot of um, stuff. As I said, it kind of resembles House of Chathon. You have like platforms around an area. Have like a pool of water in the middle map. And the sky above. And that's pretty much the level. Yeah, now you just run down some corridors to collect random garbage. This is going to be a pain to document, isn't it? Because there's really, like, no real stuff to it besides a lack of, well, symmetry or anything. I mean, one side does seem to have, like, things leading up and down. The other side does not. So I guess that's one way to look at it. Yeah, there's, like, no wind tunnels on one side. Okay, it's not a wind tunnel. It's actually an elevator. You lied to me, elevator! Let's see, can I go like to the under floor? Or does this not lead anywhere? It leads nowhere. Brilliant! 
So as you see, both elevators seem to lead to the same exact area, so they're completely pointless and will do nothing for me. How does one get to the top floor? That is probably my biggest priority here. Watch as it turns out it's only a deathmatch spawn location up there, in which case I will be totally ripped off. Um, let's see here. Let's keep one jug around aimlessly and see him wearing guns named as all goes. Well, we got some more guns. We can shoot stuff with those guns. We got a pool of water in the middle of the map. Plenty of rockets here. Yeah, it looks like, obviously, this is like the area you kind of try and fight for control, if you will. So you have your red armor on one side and a bunch of rockets on the other so we can decimate that whatever. Okay, brilliant. We got stuff. We got holes in the wall, which I'm not really sure why. You can't really look through them easily. So, why did they even exist? We have a weird little tubish elevator that seems to lead to the top floor, I'm assuming. Maybe. I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to figure things out. And we have, like, a little side corridor filled with water. It doesn't seem to exist on the other side. Interesting. A lack of symmetry. Now we must figure out what this is about. Where do you lead? Okay, this is leading to a rocket launcher. Brilliant! I like rocket launchers. So, yeah, it was just a little point in the side corridor with a rocket launcher. That works, I guess. Yeah, but it's hard to see from the middle pool, but it does exist. There's a way to, like, link around, if you will. Hard to get out of this pool of water. That's actually one of the biggest problems of this area. It's hard to get out of the pool of water. Like, look at this. I'm fighting, trying to get out of the pool. Get me out of the freaking pool of water! At this point, I want to rocket jump out of the pool because it'd be easier than just swimming. Let's see here. Let's see, it's like you have to, like, go to, like, an extreme corner and you can kind of get out... But it's an absolute nuisance to get in and out of the water. Like, even with the red armor, I imagine I'd just kind of be stuck there. Either that or if I swim down the side corridor, maybe I could come here. But then, of course, you could easily get pinned. Yeah, probably not the best of ideas, is it? Let's see here. You have also this way, which leads... To this floor. And this floor, I think, is the top floor. Yeah, it passes right through the middle floor and leads up here. And up here, you have more random garbage. Pointless guns that seem to achieve nothing. Including a rocket launcher that makes the other rocket launcher feel a lot more pointless having acquired. Like, why bother with that one and how hard that one is to get when you have this one? That is a lot easier to get. Anyway, that really seems this map. As said, this one's really, really pointless. There's really not a lot to it. It's a small little deathmatch map. Seems like it's all made with one texture. It's all made of um, some textures and stuff like that. And no, my DOS bot just crashed. Talk about good timing. My DOS bot just decided to crash when I get out of the program. But um, yeah, this level is kind of on the more pointless side, definitely. Um, After a lot of levels we've seen lately, this one definitely feels like a bit of a downer episode. Um, but that's pretty much as said to be expected. You couldn't expect forever to be doing new levels that actually have content. So this one is a little bit of a side episode, if you will. Hopefully next time we get something a bit more fancy. Um, I, I already am missing the bigger levels. I could definitely do with just an endless stream of big, actual, proper levels with actual real content instead of going back to pointless deathmatch levels. But, as said, we had to expect that some of these still existed. And, well, this one was kind of terrible. Yeah, <laughs> that's really the best way of describing it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what in God's name the point of this one was. It's one of those My First Level maps. That's really all it is. It's a My First Level, th three floors, and a bunch of guns scattered literally everywhere. This it felt like there was no rhyme or reason to this one. Um, stuff was just kind of thrown about, and that wasn't exactly the most appealing way to do it. No, it was the lack of textures, the lack of really anything going on. Yeah, not really a good even deathmatch map. We, we've seen a lot better in deathmatch maps. Look at, like, Dark Requiem Mines and compare it to something like this, you, and you can realize this is really, really terrible. But, that's beside the point. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really don't know what I'm doing in my life. I'm playing really pointless, terrible deathmatch that's made in early November of 1996. That's what I'm doing in my life. And I shall see you all, well, next time.